Hey, good morning. I pray you're doing well. And I wanted to bring you this urgent warning. Last night, I believe that the Lord brought me a prophetic dream about a nuclear detonation. And I wasn't clear if it was actually a nuclear attack, but definitely a nuclear detonation. And so, one of the things that I wanted to stress is the fact that if you are waiting upon the Lord, you are sealed in Him. You are waiting for Him. Scripture tells us that we must wait upon Him, that our faith is sealed in waiting in Him, from waiting for Him. I know there's many, uh, even watchmen, that are saying, hey, look, you can live any way you want. As long as you said a, said a couple of words, you know, 20 years ago, you're okay. And that is completely not biblical or scriptural. You know, when everything takes place, there may not be enough time to repent. Let me say that again. When everything takes place, when the trumpet sounds, there may not be enough time to repent. And I believe at the sound of the trumpet, at the rescue of the bride, destruction will come. I've always kind of postulated that it looks like we are currently at the third seal. It also looks as if at the, at the fourth, fifth, and sixth seal happen simultaneously. Hell and death come, there are those in heaven, and then the wrath falls. And so please look into these things. I always challenge the listener <clears throat> to look into scripture. It is so important. Look into why there are wise virgins and foolish virgins. Look into why it says not all who say Lord, Lord will enter in. Please look into these things. There are many, I believe, well-meaning people who are stuck in a doctrine or in a uh, facet of the body of Christ that believe that we can just live any way we want to, and that's not, that is absolutely not biblical. Again, I was in a nuclear detonation, and it appeared that the rescue happened right at the detonation. So please, please go before the Lord, study Scripture, and look into these things. You know, they make mention of, oh, look, you're sealed here, you do this, you do that. But that's for those who are actually following Christ. I, I think their doctrine is a little bit skewed. They're saying it's for everybody. It's like, no, those are, the, the, the things they mention are for those who, who are physically following Jesus Christ. In every way. With their light shining brightly and their lamps full of oil. Living a life of sanctification and repentance. The things they mention are for those people, not for people doing whatever they want to do. That is not even biblical, so please look into these things. The, de the detonation happened quickly, and right at the detonation, the nuclear detonation, is when the rescue happens. Now, it could it be different for different in individuals around the world? Perhaps, more than likely. I'm just trying to send you this warning that there may not be enough time once the trumpet sounds. Once everything goes down, there may not be enough time to repent. So please go before the Lord. Please live a life of holiness and sanctification of repentance. Please hear this message. I love you. It's why I send this word. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Bye-bye.